Okay, Rambling Man here, building this little four pill. I think it's the uh, first day of March, first of March, 2019. Building this little four pill here. Bought all the parts from uh, Little Fat Boy and uh, and uh, RF Parts. Uh, there's my box. Been working on this right here. I'm just new to this video in here. I've got this already. Put my SO239s on. Anyways, this is what I'm doing right now. I'm kind of laying everything out, making sure everything's going to fit right, and then uh, we're going to start soldering and doing a few things. So we'll be back. Okay, we're back for just a second. I'm still working out the details on uh, where everything's supposed to lay out. Now I will, I'll take this little piece of stuff right here, if I can find the camera, and I'll stick that under each one of these whenever I get ready to solder, just to raise it up. We're not gonna solder it like that. But we're just still laying everything out, making sure everything's gonna fit. This is gonna be a little four pill build, straight four pill. I'm not gonna use this, but it's a good, nice big box. I got that from uh, Fat Boy Products or IFC, I think is what it's called. I'm glad they're out there. Glad they're making this stuff. They help me out a lot. I've got my, uh, my SO231s on there. I came up with these little things right here myself. Had those. So, anyways. I don't know if we'll get to soldering tonight or not, uh, but we will be back. Okay, Ram, the man's back. All right, I have got the positive bus bar, double-sided tape down. I have got the this uh, relay double-sided tape down, which I think is going to work. And now I'm fixing to solder this and make it a full solder cover all that i've cleaned it good with some uh, denate or alcohol not denatured but that uh, i don't know 91 percent just rubbing alcohol is what i've been cleaning it with may not be what i need to use but that's all i got uh, but anyways we're fixing to solder this and make that full solder and, and then we'll see how that double-sided tape does so we'll let you know here in just a minute Okay, I'm back. Rambling man. I got my solder on my bus. It's a positive bus. Covered it really good. I don't know why I'm getting a shadow. But... And I, I used this flux right here. Probably didn't have to. Put a bunch of flux down through there. Spread it out good. Took my 100 watt soldering iron weller. And that stuff just spread like butter right down through there. Just as simple as, simple as one, two, three. Looks real pretty. How clean it is. As BBI says, no chicken poop. We don't want any chicken poop. So anyways, that's just uh, the next step. That's what I did. We'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I know we just, I just showed you where I... Did my soldering on my bus bar. What I'm fixing to do now is I'm going to put my tra uh, transistors on. And I'm going to make sure there's nothing inside the... Where the transistor sits. I'm going to clean all that real good. I'm going to put some compound down there. Some whatever they call that stuff. Heat compound. I've got it over there. I'll show it. I'll, I'll, I'll put it on the video here the next, next, next time I shut it off. But I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to screw those transistors down. I'll be right back. Yeah, this stuff. Silicone heat sink. Thermal dielectric compound. That's what's fixing to go right here. There, 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 and there. I'm going to put a little of that, and I'm going to screw the transistors down. That's what that stuff is. Okay, we're back. Ram the man. My first four pill build. Now I've got my first 2879 RF parts. And as you can see, 
the compound. Oh, it doesn't put it up. Here it is. This stuff right here. Turn it around, dummy. Silk on heat uh, sink. Thermal compound. I can't see it through the viewfinder here. But anyways, that's what I used. And you can see where I put just a dab there, there, and there. And it worked real good on that. It spread out just almost perfect. So I'm fixing to mount the other three in just a moment. We will be back. Okay, this is where we're at. We got all the pills mounted. I push them down really hard. This one here, this last one right here, I don't know. See, I had this, uh, I bought all this from uh, Fat Boy Products. And they, uh, they did the tapping. Well, they drilled the holes. They didn't tap it, but I tapped it. And it was just a little tight, so I had to really work that one down and make sure it was solid, pushed down all the way onto the heat sink. That's very important. You don't want that thing up off that heat sink. But you can see, let me get you a good view. They're all down good. But I had to work at it and work those screws back and forth real easy because you don't want to you don't want to break one of those screws off. Well, that's where we're at. They're down. But, uh... I was watching some videos, and this is the way I watched BBI build one, and I think I'm going to follow his direction. Uh, I mean, he just slid them up there, stuck them in place, and started soldering, so uh, that's the way we're going to do it. Now, I did, like I say, I uh, double-sided taped that. Didn't seem The heat didn't seem to bother it. I don't see why that's not going to be okay. This is double-sided taped down. Why not? I can always peel it up off there if the if the if the relay goes bad someday, you know if you epoxy it. I don't know what the, how, I don't know how in the hell you get it off there, but I did the double sided tape, and I know I can pop that off there if I need to. You can't hardly. I mean, I mean it's on there. It ain't going nowhere. I mean, once you solder all that shit to it, it ain't going nowhere. All right, we will be back. Okay, I'm back. I've taken this flathead screwdriver, simple, 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 and pushed those down. As you can see, those tabs are down. They go on the ground. This is the ground. This is the negative part. That's what your negative is going to connect to back here whenever we get ready. We're going to take that negative and put it right here somewhere. That black wire is going to go right here. Probably a, it calls for a 10. I am gonna think I'm going to go with a 6 gauge. But anyways, so simple, simple, simple. So what I'm probably going to do, I'm going to stop the video and get a good picture of this before I solder it. Uh, these are still loose. These are still loose. Okay, I'm going to start right over here. Solder that one. I'll go here and solder this one. And I'll probably solder all those and then come back and solder all this. Make it all nice and neat. Okay, we will be back. I think I'm going to stop the video there. Cut it. Uh, this is a Rambler Man. And then I'll... Uh, I'll probably have the second video, or I don't know. I'll try to merge them all together, but i got to get some pictures of this thing. So and this is the only thing i got. One tablet. Y'all have a good one. Oh. All right, we're back. <clears throat> Rambling Man. Building my uh, amp here, my four pill. Never done this before, as I said before. I have <clears throat> got the input transistor, or the input transformers in both of them uh, I got I can't remember what they call that anyways that's in there I made my rounds I've got everything soldered in nice and neat we're fixing to call it a night thought I'd let everybody give a good shot see what see what I did I put all my capacitors and my resistors my 10 ohm resistors and what are those? 120? Can't see them. Yeah, 120. Puff. Pastures. Four of those. One, two, three, four. That's what it looks like. That's my 16 gauge wire. Around my half inch. Here, this is a half inch by half inch. Type 61 ferrite. About... I did 26 inches 
of 16 gauge wire and I soldered it here. Once I put it through, I soldered it, spun it around, soldered it, and then I wrapped it. And I wrapped it through my uh, input transformers right here, sticking out here. And I'll cut them to length. I think we're pretty, really, really, real close to being the same length. That one on the right might be just a, I mean, a shade longer, but like I say, I've never done this before, so I don't know what to do about it. That's about the best I can get as far as evenly. That's where we're at so far. All right, well, it's uh, getting late. Been listening to the guys talk. I set up here, my General Lee, little brute force. That's a setup here on the bench. I like to sit here and listen while I'm working. Anyways, we will be back in the morning. We're going to shoot some more video for this little four pill build. Alright, we will be back. Alright, Rambler Man's back. And uh, I've uh, substituted the alcohol for coffee. It's March 2nd in the morning. It's pretty daggum early. I've been up since 5. Uh oh, they're going to start talking. Turn that down. Um, I made a few mistakes last night. Right here. ICA. I kept saying IFC. It's ICA manufacturing. Uh, sorry there, Fat Boy Products. Um, I got it here so I won't forget it again. It's it's a wonder I wasn't saying IGA or something. I, uh, I was getting awful hungry. Uh, it would have been something all the guys have been saying, hell, oh, he's getting all his parts down there at the IGA. But anyways, I got uh, a lot of my parts from ICA, Fat Boy Products. I got the, the case, which is... Uh, which is very awesome and all this this is all one unit or I bought it all together and I, I ordered it mounted for any of you guys that are gonna just go ahead and spend the extra five bucks and get it mounted they drill all the holes you'll have to tap these right here if you want to put something there and tap the pill hole but other than that uh, it's already drilled for you so that makes it a whole lot handier I put one of these big things on here Okay, I had to drill that hole out a little bit more for that because I'm putting this, uh, putting an eight gauge wire going in there. Some of this spider wire, or uh, what is it called? Uh, super worm, I don't know why, spider wire. I've been, I guess I'm thinking about going fishing. That's a eight gauge silicone, pure copper wire. So that's got to come in that hole right there. I'll try to hold this a little bit still. But anyways, we're gonna continue on worked on my uh, combiner last night input transformers output transformers I've got all that on there we're fixing to make the combiner for the uh, output transformers now 45 inches of wire uh, so anyways I'm gonna do that and I'll be back so we'll continue on with this little build. Hope this is helpful for everybody and sorry for all the uh, stupidness and stuff that I said last night. Uh, and I think I called these uh, SO231s or SO239s. <clears throat> oh well. Uh, we'll be back. Maybe I'll make a few more mistakes. It's all in good fun. This is all just a hobby. This is a lot of fun though. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. Rambling man. Uh, I'm working on the combiner. 45 inches of wire. Fixed to put my uh, resistor right there. Now, before, after we left there the last time, I put this little capacitor here and joined it with this capacitor. As you can see, and then I... Uh, soldered it to the board so we've done all that but uh, when we come back i'll probably have, have all this wrapped up wired up and we'll have my uh, resistor set there and probably be ready to once you get all this wrapped up the end this end here is going to be wrapped through there like three times and i'm going to come out here and we're going to solder it right to the side of the board here so uh all right here we go we will be back in just a minute. All right, update time. 
we have got our combiner we've got our resistor we've got it soldered to the relay we've got this little piece here soldered across the two tops we wrapped our uh, output transformers and soldered uh, the end wire to the board just thing to focus and that's what we got going on right now so next I think we're going to put in the uh, variable capacitor going to run some coax a little piece of coax going to come around up here put the variable coax right here or the variable uh, capacitor right here it's going to solder to this and I think we got to do a couple of uh, resistors in parallel here well, that's it so far we will be back all right I got my variable capacitor in I got my resistors on it as you can see that's where I chose to put it so anyways I changed it a little bit so right-handed guy can come in here with a screwdriver and turn it like that and uh, I got rid of that little little wire that ran across here uh, I saw probably BBI said or he was fixing one of these and it had kind of that and he took that out and did it like this so it may be wrong but we did it anyway all right we will be back okay we're back I've done quite a bit I had to had the camera charging so while I was getting this thing charged up I uh, I think last time we talked I was just completed this part a little uh, trimmer capacitor so now I have completed the uh, the harmonic suppression feedback circuits which these things are right there the little the resistor and the capacitor there's four of those across there so I've got those in and installed I put these uh, capacitors up here that one and that one this one and that one I'm trying to look at the viewfinder it's easier just to look at the stupid board here I put the uh, they call that the uh, the relay drive circuit this thing right here it's the relay drive circuit built that put it in there that was a booger to make because the little legs on that transistor was just they wasn't long enough so I had to improvise there so I put that in there built these those are my combiners for the uh, output transistor no well, that's not really a combiner I don't know what that is okay we're back all right all right I just paused it so I could look these are the power chokes okay I put the power chokes on Oops. I got them soldered on there come on baby focus there we go got them soldered on there now I'm gonna bend these and go to right there solder them so that's where we're at still working away at it I don't know all my buddies are thinking that we're gonna have a big bonfire we should have to be all right at least we'll know uh, how not to build one <laughs> so that's where we're at and uh, we'll keep videoing as we proceed uh, I don't even know what's next okay we are back this thing is completed I went ahead and finished it. The last, last step we were at, we were on the power chokes right here. We were bending those down. Getting ready to, to solder them right here to the power bus. And then uh, it's just been a lot of a little tedious, slow work. I mean, I really haven't done a whole lot more other than we put the uh, coax in here. We connected these. We uh, soldered the board ground to the SO239s right here both sides okay we did all that soldered it right in the center okay and then run it over here and then just and then I've watched uh, some videos online and uh, they they usually change that to soldering it on each end and then going there like that and so then I installed the switch and the LED, ran the uh, hookup wires. Now, as you can see, 
I got this kind of screwed up here. What I've got here is these wires. See that? That's a mono, mono stick, mono, uh, a quarter inch mono uh, plug. Well, you need a stereo plug. Well, I didn't know that. So what I did, I just went ahead and ran the wires like I'm supposed to. So when I get a stereo plug, all I got to do is pull the pull this off of there and that and hook it up right so I can run my remote for my remote. So I just went ahead and just dogged them off there like that. Got my power cable in there. I went with some uh, some of the bigger, heavier than what it calls. What called for 10 gauge? I went with an 8 gauge and it's silicone. And then I uh, put my 120 amp Anderson plugs. 120 amp. And then this is a, a six gauge welding wire. That's um, silicone welding wire, six gauge. This is an eight gauge coming in here, and that's some. Oh, I don't know. I called it out earlier. Anyways, that's it. It's swinging up to about uh, 600, 620 watts, maybe. Um, but I'm running it with that General Lee right there. It's got a two watt dead key and that radio swings up to about um, 40 watts, say. And then uh, my voltage, it drops down. Right now you're looking at 1290 and it's been sitting there. I got a battery sitting over there. So uh, I guess that's okay, 630 watts. It'd probably do a lot more if I could maintain, if I could maintain about 13.8 uh, volts. And get a radio that swings a little more into it. It'd probably do a little more. We'll do a little demonstration here. Um, we'll just hold on just a minute and I'll pause it. Okay. I've got the, the radio on low. Here's my dead key. At 2.4 watts. Well, i got the modulation on. Hang on. Anyways, that's with the amp off, audio, audio, radio swinging about 40 watts, audio, amps off, ah, 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 there's my voltage, 2.8, ah, 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 here we go. Amp is on now. Here's my dead key. About 36.7 watts. I'm going to do that again and I'm going to show you the voltage. See it dropping? And now we're going to modulate. For our first build, never built one before in my life, didn't have no electronics. As you can see, my meter has probably been on longer than it wants to be, and it's fixing to shut off. It's beeping over there at me, but anyway, okay. I'm running it off a of battery. I'm running it off a of battery. I got a big old 12 volt battery uh, set up. That's what we're running it, but that's it. So I don't think I shot a video of all of it. And then uh, we'll, we'll uh, pause the video here. It's been pretty fun to build. I've had a enjoyed building this thing. And I put my fan. Here's my fan. And I went ahead and just put a little plug on it. I put a uh, little bit more resistance on that fan than what it calls for. Uh, I may need to go up. I just slowed it down a little bit so it doesn't just, so you just it ain't blowing so that gum hard, and that may be wrong too, but I did resist that a little bit. 
And this will go over here like this. I'll plug it in. Throw you some pausing now. Turn it off in case I can get something stupid in there and blow the darn thing up. That's it won't slide down. There we go. And that's her. That's her. I'll uh, pause the video, hook up the fan, and let you hear it. Okay, here we go. I just turned it back off. It's still trying to spin. We'll let it come all the way down. It's quit. Now, this is my fan. Like I say, I've slowed it down a little bit, but not all the way. I don't like all that fan noise, and if I can keep from it, I will. But if I have to turn it up, if it acts like it's getting hot, I'll, I'll, I'll go back to what it's supposed to be. Here we go. And that's it. That's what it sounds like. It's not making a whole lot of noise. Seems to be doing what it's supposed to be doing. I guess my buddies, those, my all my buddies that uh, said this thing was going to go up in smoke and we'd be having this big bonfire. I guess they owe me uh, that uh, that dinner. Now they didn't say it was going to be a steak. They just said maybe a maybe a hamburger down there at the at the at the Burger King or something. So. Looks like they lost this bet. Anyways, it sounds really good. It was a fun build. I'll try to get some video up, figure out how to do it. We will be back.